In this short video, I'm sharing some tips and tricks to keep your content inside Heptabase cards organized, especially when you're working with long form text. Instead of scrolling through a wall of text, Heptabase lets you make everything much more digestible. You'll also see why I don't need a pure outline experience like Tarn or Workflowy to rearrange my thoughts quickly and without even using a whiteboard directly on a card. So let's dive into this. We will talk about ways how you can speed up your capturing process and quickly organize your notes that you take for better overviews. Let's focus on this note. That card has a heading on top and this can be anything. So you can just go here and you can turn this into anything like here, like a text, heading, heading three, to-do list, bullet list, number list, and probably list and all these things. So you can all this do manually, but I tend to use Markdown in order to speed things up. And for headings, it's very easy. You just use one hashtag and a spacebar and it makes a heading one, two hashtags and a spacebar for heading two, three hashtags and a spacebar for heading three. And that's how I can quickly create a title, two hashtags, subtitle, three hashtags, sub subtitle, and so on. What we also have in Heptabase is bullet points. And the thing is, a bullet list in Heptabase is much more sophisticated than a normal bullet list you would find in other tools. It goes much more into an outliner direction. So when I hit dash and I hit space, it makes a bullet point already. Now I have here a bullet one and I hit enter, it makes another bullet. By hitting tab, it indents this bullet. And now I have a sub bullet one and I can indent this even further in many levels, right? So now by holding shift and tab, you go backwards and I can say this and you get the point. So the thing is now the difference to a normal bullet list, I can collapse these bullets. So either you use your mouse and you click on these and it will close this for you. On each level, I can close them down. See, it gives me the clarity and I have a streamlined list without seeing all the notes that I have taken and I can perfectly open this up now. Or, and that's what I do, I use only my keyboard and hit command enter and it closes this too, okay? So you see here, I'm just moving with my keyboard and I can use perfectly with command enter to open and close these bullet points. Now, another thing is that you can move bullet points around with your keyboard easily. Obviously, you could always drag them around like this, but I can also hold down shift and command and then the up and down arrows. And now I'm moving these things up and down as well. And you see it goes through the different levels of a bullet list. And if you're on top level and you move these things around, it takes the sub bullet with it. Okay, just keep in mind that these are connected, the two tools. If I move this up, see, it's now indenting. If I keep going, it indents further. If I keep going, it moves it up. If I keep going, it moves it up. If I keep going, it gives it to the top level. And now I can go here and I tap, and this makes only the full bullet move in, but I can hold shift, go downwards, and I select all three and hit tab. And now I indent everything in here and I detent this. So now we have moved things around all just with the keyboard. And I now select everything on this card with command A and I hit command enter. It will collapse and open everything that is selected. So this goes a bit further because usually I'm using titles and subtitles and what you have here are bullet lists. So using these subtitles and titles is very powerful for structuring your document if you have a long form card because by simply adding the this symbol here on your keyboard and hitting space, you convert this immediately into a toggle heading. And now I can hit command enter again and I can collapse the whole heading two. So let's create another one. I just make double hashtag. I made a heading two. I say subtitle X, Y to make it different, right? And I give more text. There might be, you know, some general text and maybe you add images or whatever. And then you have another one where you have another heading and you see by the size that all these are heading twos. And now this can become really long but it doesn't matter if I make them toggle headings with using this symbol, you see I can collapse the whole heading and now I have a perfect easy to read structure and this goes further with the subheadings here. So I could go further and start now adding content here and you see this might be a long list of things in here that I have, but with one command, command enter, 
I close this and I forget about this. The difference to this bullet list is really when you go to the sidebar and you open up the table of content, then you see you have these headings here to navigate your card, your notes in here. So by clicking here, it goes to this and it uncollapses and shows the content of these things by navigating through this. If you want to collapse everything, again, Command A to select everything, just hit Enter and your whole document is closed. And that's really powerful when it comes to complex documents. And when I convert this then into a card, as by going to the top level, you select the whole thing here. This is a whole block. And if you turn this into a card, it takes everything that is inside the bullet inside the new card. Now, after watching, what do you think? Were you aware of these Heptabase features? And do you use them the same way? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, join our free membership and enroll in the Heptabase Mastery course to truly master Heptabase as your core PKM system. This course isn't just a featured tour. It reveals the golden thread connecting every function regardless of your setup or method. Whether you're into daily note-taking, deep thinking, complex problem solving or research, you'll see how all this can work together inside Heptabase. Plus, you'll automatically receive free future updates as Heptabase evolves. And it does on a regular basis. So check out the link in the description below and I'll catch you up inside the membership. Baby, let's move on. Your productivity.